Ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome. My name is Martin Simonovsky, and I will be presenting our work on uh, dynamic edge convolution filters in CNNs on graphs. The majority of deep learning research has concentrated on problems with regular data structure, such as images and videos. For example, building an archipelago classifier from satellite images would be an easy task nowadays. However, uh, irregular representations such as graphs have attracted considerably less deep learning research so far. In our toy example, we might classify island graphs based on connectivity and vertex features. Fortunately, many concepts can be adapted from the regular domain, including convolution. Past work has uh, developed several, two upper kinds of uh, approaches to graph convolution. Spectrum methods learn filtering weights in the context of particular graph Laplacian, and results have been demonstrated uh, with fixed graph structure only. As we want to be able to process graphs with varying size and connectivity, we base our method on spatial formulations, where the filtering is performed locally. Previous work has often dealt with unweighted graphs, which, however, provide an overly isotropic view of the local neighborhood and smooth information indiscriminately. In weighted graphs, weights are typically computed by handcrafted similarity kernels. We argue that it is better to provide edge attributes to the network directly and learn their influence on information end to end. So in this work, uh, we present a spatial convolution operation on graphs, which is able to exploit edge attributes. These properties allow us to show that our method generalizes the regular general, general convolution on graph. Let me briefly introduce our method. Uh, generally, convolution amounts to a weighted sum of vertices, vertex features x in the local neighborhood. For example, to compute the convolution at vertex 1, we consider the features at its predecessors and at the vertex itself. The question is how to share filters theta among uh, all the edges in the graph. We propose to condition them on the respective edge attributes vector L and generate them using a single filter generating network F. In other words, instead of learning filter weights themselves, we learn a function which provides them dynamically. In the example, information is propagated the same way over the blue edges and differently over the red or the green edge. Having graph convolutions in place allow us to apply the general pattern of feedforward network with multiple scales. In order to do this, a problem-specific pooling operation is required to coarsen the graph. We demonstrate our method on point cloud classification. While other deep learning works have used volumetric or set representation, we advocate treating point clouds as graphs with proper attributes. This led us to reaching the state of the art on Sydney Urban Objects dataset and attending a competitive performance on ModelNet. We also evaluate on several common graph classification datasets and demonstrate that considering edge labels improves performance. On top of that, our method is applicable in the range of domains such as mesh processing or knowledge graphs. Our message is that using edge information in graph convolutions can be very helpful and allow us for a new range of applications. For instance, regressing Hawaii uh, to be a great place to hold a conference. The source code in PyTorch is available online. Thank you.